Hi everyone and welcome to Yoga for Unity. My name is Alana and I am really pleased to be able to take you through a gentle beginner sequence of some asana, some yoga. I've been uh, practicing and teaching vinyasa for many, many years. I'm really passionate about teaching safe and inclusive and challenging sequences. Um, but today will be just a nice introduction to yoga and to support the Yoga for Unity um, practice that we have here. I'm very lucky to share it with you. Okay, so let's come into our mats. And we're just going to start in a comfortable seated position. So for you, that could be cross-legged, that could be kneeling, or that could be maybe sitting up on a block or some kind of cushion. We're going to start with our spine nice and erect and our hands relaxed down on our knees. Roll the shoulders back, relax through the neck, and gently close the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And now we're going to continue breathing through the nose only and really allowing some space in our diaphragm. So every time you take a breath in, gently pushing out the belly to its full expansion. And every time you take a breath out, letting it gently contract and your navel come back towards your spine. So you might like to place your hand on your belly and gently be guided by the movement of your inhale and exhale and feel how the tummy works in synchronicity with your breath. We always start a yoga practice in a very calm manner so that we're starting without rushing, without any kind of stress or anxiety, and we have a little moment to just center ourselves. So whatever's happened for you today or is yet to happen, just doing your best to be present and accept things as they are in the world, in your body and in your mind and using your yoga practice as a tool to redirect your energy, to connect with your body, your breath and your heart. So if you've got your hand in your belly, placing it again on your knee, and then bringing your hands together in front of your chest and taking a moment to really think about what you'd like from your yoga practice today. So some ideas might be that you would like to just feel connected to your body. You might like to really feel the muscles stretching and lengthening. Could be to create a little bit of peace or clarity in the mind. Or it could be to reawaken the spirit. It could be all those things. Once you have your intention, gently bringing your head down to meet your fingertips. Raising the head back up. Opening the eyes. And on your next inhale, taking the arms out and up, joining the palms together and then exhaling, bringing the hands all the way back down to the center of the chest. And we'll do that a few more times to really sync up the breath and the movement. So breathing in, taking the arms out and up, palms join, and exhale, taking it all the way back down. 
two more like this. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, lowering down. One more in your own time. And meeting your hands together in front of the chest. We'll take the arms straight up now. So as you breathe in, really lengthening through the fingertips. Reaching the arms nice and high as you anchor down through your buttocks. Breathe out and turn your body toward the right. And then as you breathe in, come back through centre, grow tall again, lengthen through the fingertips. And then breathe out, twisting to the left side. Again, coming through centre, inhale, reaching and extending, lengthening those arms. And then breathing out, twisting as far as you can toward the right side. And then lowering your hand down to your thigh and aiming to get your fingertips at the base of the spine. So right behind the back there. Turning the head toward the back shoulder and taking three deep breaths through the belly. Once you finish that last exhale, returning to the center, taking the arms up again, breathing in, breathing out, twisting as far left as you can, and then using your hands to support you. Making sure those shoulders are relaxed, taking three deep breaths through the belly. And coming all the way back through centre, arms up one more time, big breath in. And then breathing out, folding forward. Again, grounding down through your buttocks and just letting that head rest. Go as far as you comfortably can, we're still warming up here. And then coming to sit all the way back up and we'll make our way onto our hands and knees from here, everyone. So hands down, right underneath the shoulders, on the knees stacked right under the hips. Toes are tucked for balance and we're going to do some spinal movements to warm up. As we inhale, drop the belly, arch the back and look forward. And as you breathe out, press the palms into the floor and round the spine. So you're really pressing the hands down, pushing the shoulders up and drawing the inner thighs together. Again, inhale, arching and looking forward. And exhale, rounding the spine, pressing the back up. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch, and exhale round. And we're going to hold it here now. So letting the head drop, keeping the arms strong and straight, fingertips spread as the palms push down toward the earth, letting the upper back really spread, letting the muscles stretch. And then from here, what we're going to do is lift the knees off the floor and come into a full plank position. Push your heels toward the back of your mat. Press those hands down again and lift up the belly a little bit. So you see there's a little bit of an arch here in the upper back. Breathing in. And then as we exhale, we're going to lift our hips up. Press our feet down and come into to our first downward facing dog. So you might like to adjust your hands or your feet here. I generally walk my feet in. So we're looking for a V shape of the body. And I want you to just start pedaling your legs. So really warming up through the hamstrings now. Relaxing the head, drawing the chin down toward the chest. Just start feeling 
through the backs of the legs, feeling through the body. You might even like to sway the hips right to left, right to left. And then we'll find a bit of stillness here. And if you need to, just bend those knees. You can bend them a little or you can bend them a lot. But we want a nice flat back. We want to push our hips up toward the sky. We'll take three breaths here. Well done, then we're going to walk forward to the top of our mat now. Bring our feet to hip width distance apart and just folding forward here. Again, you might like to bend those knees a lot just to support the hamstrings. We never want to never want to force anything into position. I've just been doing this for many years, so the hamstrings are quite open for me, but deep bend to the knees if that feels better for you. And then I want you to bend your knees a lot and roll up through your spine. So think of pushing your feet down to the earth and rolling up vertebra by vertebra. Taking your arms up and over your head. Big breath in. And then breathing out again, hands to the center of the chest. All right, let's begin our Surya Namaskars, our sun salutations now. So we're going to breathe in and take the arms up and over the head again. And then breathe out, fold forward over your legs once more, bending at those knees if you need to. I'm going to inhale, lift halfway. So this might mean you can come onto your fingertips or maybe even bring your hands to your knees and just look forward. Again, that nice flat back is what we're looking for. Breathing out, folding forward again. From here, we'll step our right leg back. We're gonna lower the knee so we're in a nice kneeling lunge here. Get really steady through your front foot. Gaze forward. And as you breathe in, push down and lift your arms up. Have your fingertips, your shoulders, and your hips in one line. And now as you breathe out, we're going to lunge forward into that front leg. And we're going to do this two more times with the breath, okay? So breathing in, coming up. And breathing out, lowering down. So we want to keep the hips and the shoulders in one line as we keep doing this movement. So really strong through the upper body. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Really good, everyone. From here, you might like to take your arms out nice and wide and open up through the chest and the heart. Or if the shoulders are open, you might like to clasp your hands behind you, draw the arms back, lift the head. We're going to take a big breath in here. And a nice big exhale. Good. We're going to bring our fingertips to the floor. Now, if you have some blocks that might support you staying a little bit more lifted, if that's quite a long way down, we're going to take a breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to shift our hips back toward our heel and straighten the front leg just as much as you can. Okay. So we inhale, come back to that lunge position. And then we exhale, straighten. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good. And now let's come into that kneeling plank shape again, so the all fours position. We're going to breathe in, and then breathe out, lower our body all the way down to the mat, keeping the elbows hugging in toward the spine. And now bringing your hands right up to the corners of your mat. We're going to inhale, lift up the chest, lift it up. And then exhale, lower all the way back down. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in, lifting up. And breathing out, lowering down. Good. 
Let's come into downward facing dog now. So pushing ourselves back up, lifting up the hips, adjusting the feet if you need. Hands at hip width. Sorry, hands at shoulder width and feet at hip width. And again, maybe, maybe cycling through the legs if the hamstrings are still warming up. You're still saying hello to them. And then do your best to keep the breath in sync. So as you do each movement, each transition, you're really teaming that with an inhale or an exhale. Okay, taking your last breath here. Make sure you empty the breath now, nice big exhale. And then looking forward to the top of your mat, just walking your feet up to meet your hands, bringing them again at that hip width distance and folding forward once more. We're gonna do the other side now. So as you breathe in, stepping that left leg back, lowering the knee to the floor, getting a nice firm grip with that front leg, really pressing down, anchoring down, breathing in, reaching the arms up, breathing out, lowering down into that lunge, keep reaching toward the heavens with those hands, two more, inhale, exhale, breathe in, tummy nice and firm, and breathe out. And then choosing that option, what you'd like to do with the arms, taking them nice and wide, or maybe interlacing them behind you, opening up through the heart. Nice, full breath in. Let it go. Once again, the fingertips come down or the hands come down onto a block with some kind of support, either side of that front foot. Take an inhale, breath. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, coming forward into that lunge. Exhale, straighten. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out. Well done. Come back into kneeling plank shape, hands and knees. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, lower to the floor. Hands to the front corners of the mat, breathing in, lifting up the upper body. Pressing the tops of the feet down. Breathing out, lowering to the floor. Last time, inhale, lift it up. And exhale, lower down. Finding your downward facing dog now, suppressing so that. We're going to take three full breaths again. To get to the end of that third exhale, really squeeze it out of the body. And then look forward and walk up to the top of the mat, feet behind the hands. Breathe in, we're going to take that halfway lift again. And then breathe out, relaxing forward fold. Deep bend to the knees as you push the feet into the floor, roll up through the spine. Arms up and exhale, hands down at the center of the chest. I want you to take a little moment now to just center yourself. So you might like to close your eyes, stand up nice and tall, just finding your breath again. Notice how that movement through Surya Namaskar with a few add-ons, it's just influenced how the body feels, where the energy's been shifted. And then 
you can relax the arms beside you. Gently open up the eyes. And because we don't have too much time, I'd just like to finish our standing postures with a little balance. So Vrikshasana or uh, tree pose is a really common pose and is, is just really great for balance and coordination and just feeling a sense of, um, of being grounded. So there are a couple of options with this pose. You can start with the first option, just seeing how this feels, placing the foot on the ankle. Or if you feel you can do a little bit more, you can place the foot on the shin. So make sure this is below the knee, not putting any pressure on the knee. Or if you can, getting the foot right up into the inner thigh. And a good trick to balance here quite steadily is to really press your inner thigh and your foot together. Look at something that's not moving, that's not stealing your attention. See if you can just relax into this one. Relax the posture, relax the muscles in the face. The only thing that's really working is that inner thigh and that foot, and of course the whole standing leg. Find the breath here. And if you feel steady enough, you might like to take the arms up like branches. Here for three. Here for two. And for one. Well done, everybody. Gently releasing from there, both feet down. Just recalibrate, step the feet out. <laughs> and let's do the other side. So choosing your option, you've got one, two, or three. Okay. And it might take some time, so don't, don't push or force yourself to get into position. Really go at your own pace and meet yourself where you are, physically, mentally, and spiritually. The option to take the arms up and out is there for you. Here for three. Two. And one. We're gently releasing yourself from this posture now, stepping the feet apart. And let's just take a nice big breath in together. So reaching out and up. And exhale, release. Very good, everyone. Let's come down onto our back now. We're going to finish with a couple of floor postures. So Again, we'll have our feet at hip width apart. We're going to take our arms out in front of us, fingertips pressing together, arms nice and strong. Take a nice breath in as you lift up your chest. And see if you can follow your exhale as you roll all the way down to the back. So again, vertebra by vertebra, slowly coming down all the way to the floor. So from here, we're going to place our hands down, press our feet down, and as we breathe in, lift our hips up toward the sky. As we breathe out, lower the hips all the way back down. And I want you to do these movements in your own time now, so really following the intelligence of the breath, not rushing, not forcing, and not resisting. And really feeling that support of the feet and the hands as you make these movements. And doing three more in your own time. You might find that you can lift a little higher each time you do it. And then on the third round, I'd like you to keep your hips lifted. So here you can either stay keeping the feet and the hands as they are. That's a really nice support. Or if it's there for you, you can walk your shoulders under your body, interlace your hands. And draw the chin a little bit away from the chest. So you don't want to lock in your head here. 
you really want to be relying on the foundation of the feet, the strength of the legs, and really open up through the chest and the heart. Let's take three big breaths here. After that third exhale, if you were interlacing your fingers, gently release the shoulders one at a time and lower your body all the way down to the mat. Now, before we release the back, I want you to take your feet as wide as your yoga mat, so nice and wide, and we're just going to let them swish from side to side like they're windscreen wipers. So this will do just a gentle release to start with, and then we'll do a full release. So now we're going to bring the knees into the chest, give ourselves a nice big squeeze and lift our head up off the floor. Now this is the fun part, so you can follow me with this one if you wish, or you can just find an easier way to sit. But I like to kind of roll along my spine to come up. So just have a little bit of fun with this one because yoga can be fun. <laughs> and then... We're going to come to sit all the way up with the legs extended. Okay. So we're going to do a forward fold here to release the back. If the back of your leg is up, legs are tight, if you have tight hamstrings, bend your knees for this one and even put some blocks under your legs to support you. Okay. It's better that when you do a forward fold, you're not in this position where you maybe you can touch your feet, but you're rounded. It's better that your back is nice and straight your knees are bent and you find that forward fold. Okay, so let's start by reaching the arms up so you're finding all that length and that space and the breath in. And then we're going to breathe out slowly, fold forward as far as you can. Maybe the hands just come beside the feet or maybe they hold on to the feet. Remember, we don't want rounding, we'd prefer a nice flat back and bent knees. And then a fold forward. Let's do five deep breaths here. And then we'll slowly roll all the way back up. Let's finish our little sequence with a twist now. So we're going to come to lie on our backs. Take the arm nice and wide. Bring the feet to a tabletop position. Take a breath in. And then breathe out. Bring the legs all the way to the right side. So here we want our knees to stack. We want to relax our shoulders and we'll take three deep breaths. Bring your legs back to the center and go all the way over to the left side. Another three breaths. All the way back to the center. Let's take the legs up now, point the toes. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, lowering the legs all the way down to the mat. And we'll come into a short but well-deserved Shavasana. So here we want to let everything just be nice and heavy. We want to have the feet at mat width apart, let them roll out. The arms out by the sides with the palms facing up. Shoulders on the mat. 
Head relaxed, face relaxed. Whole body relaxed. And letting the breath just be totally natural here. And what we're doing in Shavasana is really feeling the effects of our practice and also offering up our practice, offering ourselves. And starting to deepen the breath, pushing the belly out, and then reaching those arms over the head. You might like to point the toes, roll through the ankles and the wrists, bringing the knees back into the chest, and then rolling over to one side. We take a few little moments. And as you're feeling ready, coming up into a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands together in front of your chest. Close your eyes. And take this moment now to thank yourself for your practice. To thank your body for all that it does for you. And to thank the practice of yoga for all that it gives you and all that it will continue to give you in your body, in your mind, and in your heart. Bow the head toward the hands. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the practice. I hope that it helped to energize and uplift you and enjoy the rest of Yoga for Unity. Thanks again. Thank you.